Three, two, one. Today I'm testing the power output of the new Power 100 watt solar panel versus the Renogy 100 watt solar panel. All right, first reading for both panels, the Renogy is outputting 82 watts and the new Power is outputting 72 watts. That is a way bigger difference than I expected. Temperature can have a big effect on solar panel output, so I thought the new Power panel might have been hotter than the Renogy, but when I checked, both panels were the exact same temperature. Throughout the afternoon, the Renogy was consistently outputting 10 to 15 more watts than the new Power, but maybe, just maybe, the new power panel had a trick up its sleeve. I'm gonna quickly test how these panels react to shade. I'm just gonna use my hand. So first I've got the new power, I'm putting my hand over it, and the power output dropped from about 64 watts to about 47, 48. Now the Renogy, it's currently outputting 78 watts. I'm gonna put my hand over it, drops down to about 44 watts. Interesting. I wondered if the new power performed better in shade in low light conditions. And as the sun started setting, I recorded for the first time all day, the new power outputting more than the Renogy panel. <laughs> Early the next morning, I checked the panels once they were in full sun. The new power is sitting at 44 watts and the Renogy is sitting at 50 watts. I was honestly shocked at the results I was getting. From the charge controllers down to the length and thickness of the wire, my entire setup was identical except for the panels. And just like that, 24 hours was up and my test was over. Over the course of my test, the new power panel produced a grand total of 490 watt hours and the Renogy panel produced 570 watt hours. That's a difference of 80 watt hours, which is enough to power 10 watt lights for an extra eight hours or a portable 12 volt fridge for a few extra hours. It's a big difference. And what about my theory that the new power panel might perform better in cloudy and low light conditions? Well, let's just say after more testing, it didn't really hold up and I won't be doing whatever the hell this was again. So the new power panel is cheaper than the Renogy panel. So if price is your top priority, I think it's still a good, well-built solar panel. But for most people, based on my test results, I would recommend the Renogy. Subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like me to test next.